So I've gone through a lot of road bumps in my fitness journey, and one big one that I had is that I fell off. So basically, I was going really hard for a long time. I was waking up at 6.30 every morning. I would do 40 push-ups right as soon as I wake up. Then I go and start the bath because our shower didn't work. So I go and start our bathtub. And then I would do some gratitude. And then I get in the bath. I would come out and I'd do 10 minutes of meditation. And then I would go downstairs. And I didn't like eggs. But I knew how good they were for me. So I'd go in there and I'd munch on two eggs. And eventually I just got used to it. And then... My mother worked at the same school that I go to, so she drive me to school, and in doing that, every morning I get there early, so I had 45 minutes, so I go to the gym for 45 minutes every single morning, and this built like the big habit for me to stay fit and to be going to the gym like basically every single day, and that's when I see the most progress because I was I had routine, I had a routine set down, but that completely changed. And you might be able to relate to this. You might have had a similar experience where you're going to the gym a lot. Or maybe you're just trying to. You're like planning it in your head. But you can't. And it just seems so far away now. There's a community of men just like you in the description below. So go check it out if you want to meet men just like you. So what changed for me? I got complacent. And what this means is that... I basically just fell off. I fell off because I thought that like everything would keep the same if I just changed one little thing. So I would stop doing the push-ups in the morning. Or I'd stop doing as much meditation. And this was like... Like, imagine I was going up a set of stairs. It's like I started going backwards unintentionally. Like, I just didn't mean to, but I, said, I was going down. And this I just kind of kept going down. And it went to show. I was hitting plateaus... Almost every single time I went to the gym. And my mental health went straight to the slumps. Because I was doing so good. But then my progress just slipped. Because I got complacent. And we want to talk about how we can avoid getting complacent in the gym. So we need, we need to stick to our routine every single day. That we can follow. That maybe even someone holds us accountable for. In my example... My mother was holding me accountable, like, unintentionally. Because she worked at the school. She'd drive, like, I didn't want to take the bus to school. Because I was to take the bus to school. I'd get there early, and I'd just work out because I had 45 minutes to kill. I'm not going to walk around because I don't know anyone else that was at the school at the time. So I'm just here, pushing weight. Whatever. It just built this habit of me going all of the time. And hopefully you can get a similar experience to this. Maybe... Maybe your mother goes, like, say, it's summertime right now. Maybe your mother goes to work, and you're free. You have a lot of free time. You go with her to near where she works in the city, and she works next to a gym. You can go to the gym. It works out. But just try very hard to have someone that can hold you accountable for all of your progress. Because when you can have someone that holds you accountable for your progress, or just your whole journey in general, it makes it so much easier. This is why everyone promotes having, like, a gym bro. Because when you have someone with you every time, you're going to get pushed every time. And when you're not there, you can push him. You're, you're going to get pushed. And when he's not there, you can push him. It's fun. So try to find somebody that you can motivate and that motivates you as well. This second one is kind of what ruined me. Because when I stopped getting like consistent and I got complacent, it was because I didn't treat the gym as... like. A primary thing. I just thought of it as like an accessory to my day. Because it used to be the highlight of my day. I would wake up and get all ready just so I could go to the gym. And then school was just school. Then I'd get home, work, relax, whatever. Whatever happened. But the, g the gym, it finally became like just this accessory. I was like, I was just doing it because. And that kind of ruined it. So, try to treat the gym as... Kind of like a highlight of your day. And it already is a lot of people's highlights of the day. But if you're trying to go, then you want to start making this just like the big point of your day. The point, this is, this is what matters for your day. If you don't get the gym, then you're, you're not getting anything out of your day. If you get to the gym, your whole day's accomplished. If you can have the mindset of a man who is active, then you're going to start seeing progress instantly. 
Because when you think that you're active, whenever you label yourself as someone who is active, that's when you start to notice a big difference in yourself. The more you hold off getting comfy when you start going to the gym, the more progress you're going to start to see. Because it's inevitable, you are going to fall off at some point. You are going to start getting consistent for a while, and then something's going to happen. Maybe something in your family happens. Maybe something with your mental health happens. Maybe something physical happens. Maybe it result in an injury. Something's going to happen. And you're going to lose your progress in the gym. You're going to lose your consistency. And you're not going to be going so often. Trying to find the problem of where this is coming from. You're going to be able to move past this and find where you can start being consistent again. Just through building some, some sort of routine. Some way that someone's holding you accountable on that. And keeping this active mindset as you are like a healthy, fit, active person. As soon as you start doing these things, you're going to be at the gym all of the time. Now get up there and start being active.